everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate slash clone Pokemon from trees, rock spawns, and treasure chests in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I want to be straight up, the thumbnail is Photoshop, but you can get the exact same results as the thumbnail if you do follow along with this video. Shout out to Catling for discovering this method. I put her link down in the description below. All right, now that that's all out the way, let's get into this process. This one's a good one. There are three things that you will encounter when you are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. One are trees that drop berries, and also trees that can drop Burmese, Wormadons, Combees, Cherums, Cherubi, and Heracross. When you hit the Shaking Rocks in the game, you're going to be getting Geodudes, Gravelers, and when you're in the Alabaster Icelands, those Shaking Rocks are going to give you Bergmites. And when you're in the Coronet Highlands, you're going to have these Shaking Chests that can either drop Voltorbs or Rotoms. So there's a good group of Pokemon that you can encounter from all these types of different tables. And then I'm going to show you in this video how to duplicate those encounters you had with those same exact Pokemon so that you can get the exact copy or clone of it. So now you'll be watching some old footage of me going to different zones where I encounter rocks, trees, or chests, and I'm just trying to see if they're going to present to me the same exact Pokemon so you can watch the data and follow along and kind of learn the steps while you're watching it. Okay, we got our first rock. We are currently on Romana's Island. All right, we have a Graveler. Not a shiny. A catch. After you catch the certain Pokemon that you're supposed to have, go ahead and save. After that, we're just going to check the summary of Graveler. Okay, this is a summary check of Graveler. Height 33, weight 224.9 pounds, nature timid. Now, what we're going to do is head into a loading area. We'll be using this cavern as our second loading area. So we're going to wait 30 minutes here and hopefully we get a repetition. I will see you after 30 minutes for the test. I'm just going to wait here, not battle. Literally 30 minutes. Alexa, set alarm for 30 minutes. I'm very sorry if I <laughs> triggered your Alexa. Oh, I did it again. I'm sorry. Okay, see you in 30 minutes. So to explain what just happened, I found a Graveler inside of a rock. I caught that Graveler. Then I saved my game. And then I found an area in the map. It has to be within the map that you can go inside of, which is a different zone. So it would be like entering a cave or entering a cavern, things like that. Not leaving the area though. You do not want to leave the area. You want to go inside of a cave or cavern. For that example, I've walked into that cavern and I'm going to wait there for 30 minutes. You have to wait for 30 minutes. If you do battle with Pokemon, that timer will go longer. So just wait 30 minutes inside the cave, go grab a snack, go drink some water. Once the 30 minutes is done, then you're going to exit out of the cave like this video. All right, it's been 30 minutes later and I'm now exiting this cave or this cavern. But to go back to the exact spot we marked on the map, that Graveler should pop out and it should be the exact same one if this test is correct. Okay, the rock is shaking. This is a good sign. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this. Okay. Let's compare both of them now. I, I also got a water stone again from here. So exact same drop from the rock. Okay. Uh, so let's check the summaries. Again, you can see that this one is 3-3 and 224.9 pounds. ID is 669279. Okay. Next one. 3-3, 224.9 pounds. These are the exact freaking same ones oh my gosh all right let's go back to this one and go to its uh you can see its attack is down and speed is up attack is down speeds up nature as you can see uh right here is timid nature on this one is timid oh so it works so if you're in the obsidian field lands and you happen to get a shiny from a tree or a rock the place that you want to go to and wait 30 minutes is going to be in here. So I don't think it matters. You can knock out as many trees or rocks as you want. And let's say you get three shiny Pokemon showing up in these areas and you catch them all from the trees or the rocks. And you just hang out in this cave, come back out, and they should be the same. All right, we are now in the Crimson Mirelands. And I'm going to find ourselves a rock or a tree to hit because we haven't tested a tree out. So if we see a shaking tree or a rock, that's what we're going to go for. Okay, we got a tree encounter that we're going to test out next. All right, and it's just a little Burmy here. Level 16. So since we did test it, I'm going to just mark it on the map. So we're going to be entering inside of Valor Cavern as our test area. The timer can now start, so we're going to hit that 30 minutes, and I will see you right after that. 
All right, 30 minutes has now passed. We're gonna exit this area. We're gonna fly over to the tree that we got our bird me at. Oh, it's daytime. That is that has definitely been 30 minutes. Okay, hit that. And this should be the exact same Burmy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and catch it with an Ultra Ball. Check the summary. All right, so Burmy number one, height seven, weight 7.6 pounds. We're gonna go a little further. Struggle bug is his move. It doesn't have a nature that is going to increase or decrease any stats, and it is bashful. Next one, <laughs> bashful, exact same effort levels in HP and attack. Struggle bug, same thing, seven inches, 7.6 pounds. So now we've confirmed that trees are all the same as well. So that means you can go around this whole entire area Hit every single tree, every single rock, see what you get. If you get a shiny, great. And then go in a cave, wait, come back and farm those shinies nonstop every 30 minutes. And uh, it's unlimited shinies, but it also could be trade bait. But of course, you're going to be very limited by what you can get. But this is exactly what to do when you are in the Crimson Mire Lands and want to try the stats. So hit all the trees in the area, go for all the rocks in the area. It's going to be a great time. Okay, we have a tree here, and I'm just going to go ahead. Knock it, see what we get. It's a Wormadon. Okay, we're just gonna catch it with an Ultra Ball. Okay, caught. And now what we're going to do is wait in turn back cave. All right, so I will see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, so we have finished the 30 minutes and we're gonna go back to the spot and we're gonna see if it's the same Wormadon in the tree. So here is the tree again, go to our Lucario. And we should get the exact same pink Wormadon coming out. There we go, caught. As you can see, height is 1.7, weight 14.6. Move, Silver, Wind, Iron Head, Psychic, Bug Buzz. You can see that it has two effort levels in special attack, one in attack, and it's docile nature. We'll go to the next one. Oh, look at that. It's also docile nature, has the exact same effort levels, exact same moves, and the exact same height and weight. So this is a successful test. Moving on to the next area. Okay, welcome to the Coronet Highlands. This is where the video originally came from, where the test happened for the Graveler. And we're going to test out a few things here. We're gonna go for boxes. We're gonna go for tree. And we're also going to go for a rock encounter here. So the first thing is a tree. And as you can see, we have a Burmy. Okay, there is a treasure chest over here. Just going to go ahead and see what's in it. And it's a Rotom. That's awesome. Never got a Rotom to pop out before. Uh, wow. Hello, Rotom. You see what's in this rock? Okay, we got a Graveler that also has appeared here. I'm going to head over to the Stone Portal, which will bring me to another zone. You could technically walk into any cave here. That would bring you to another instance as well. So we're gonna just gonna see if this works out. We are now in the stone portal and I will see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes are done and we are now exiting. We should have the tree shaking again. There's the Burmy. All right, there it is. There's the shake and the Rotom should be right here. There it is. And here is the rock also shaking. And then there's the Graveler just like before. Level 46 Graveler, same exact one again. As you can see, all those Pokemon encounters were exactly the same all over again. Just proving again that it's the exact same Pokemon encounter. At this point, I'm not going to go through all the stats again because the other three areas, I showed you all the stats. But it's just really cool to see all three kinds of encounters in one area, which means you can just go around the whole entire map, collect every single rock, hit every single tree, open every single chest, and see what you get. If you get anything spicy, special, maybe a shiny alpha Pokemon, then you can go ahead and go inside of those caves, wait 30 minutes, then come back out and do it all over again. And you can infinitely collect these Pokemon nonstop. So you can get regular clones, you can get shiny clones, you can get alpha Pokemon clones or alpha Pokemon shiny clones. This is really cool. And I think this is a great starting point 
that you guys can start looking up and researching and maybe you'll find your own information and maybe you guys can find out what we can do with exploiting this feature in the game now the only place in this video i didn't show exactly with footage was the alabaster ice lands but all you got to do again is copy everything we just did previously in the video and then go into the cavern or the temple wait 30 minutes come out and rinse and repeat it's really that simple but now everyone knows how to do the clone encounter in this game i like calling it the infinity stone method it's just so fun because it started off with the graveler when it was discovered online and it's just non-stop the same exact graveler so again let me know if you do get a shiny pokemon from this and try this method out every 30 minutes get keep getting the same shiny pokemon this is also great if you guys can do a little more research and even learn more than me from it and let me know because this is for the community to figure out on their own as well and develop different ways of discovering how to use this whole entire going into a cave and coming out of it to your advantage so it's cool that it's in the game and um yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.